we are supposed to say, congratulations, Mr. President, you recognize anti-Semitism. That's pathetic. Kelly, what, what do you say? He was asked about it directly twice in the past week. And there he, were all these incidents. It wasn't until his daughter tweeted yesterday that he then suddenly, in a prepared speech that he read, said the words. For those wanting to give the president a fair chance, you would have heard him condemn anti-Semitism. I have his exact quote from the first time he was asked, asked this question. He said, I want peace in this country. I want to stop crime and long simmering racism. That sounds like a condemnation to me. But some people on the left are using the veil, the veil of anti-Semitism and the charge of anti-Semitism to further their own political causes. It's dangerous. I agree with Alan Dershowitz fully that we should not be use, loosely throwing this term around. And I, I've got to ask you straight on, so you think the president does not like Jews and is pre prejudiced against Jews. You think that about the president of the United States? You bet. And do you know wow. why? And wow is right, Kaylee. Do you know why? Does he hate his daughter? You, does he hate you know his son? What, Kaylee? You know what, Kaylee? I am tired of commentators like you from the right trotting out his daughter, trotting out his son-in-law as talking points against the president's anti-Semitism. They are Jewish, you, but that is not a talking point against anti-Semitism. And that is a disgrace. Let's, let's dissect have your statement. You, have, you no, Listen, you, have you no ethics than to invoke, a, and to invoke people's religion as a talking point? Let's make this a dialogue. That itself is okay. anti-Semitic. Let's Go make ahead, this Kim. a dialogue instead of a monologue. Do you think the president dislikes his daughter? Okay. You know, answer the question. You, you know answer, because you said he doesn't like you know Jews and his I'm daughter's under no Jewish. obligation to answer a curveball question. Because you can't be answer the question. Because it's a nonsensical answer. question based on nothing. You know, when he's asked the question, he, he goes off for 20 seconds about his Electoral College victory. Then he mentions racism. Later on, he does say, as for the Jewish people, I have a daughter. Um, does that do it for you? Yes. Stopping crime and long simmering racism sounds like a condemnation. And Mr. Goldstein could not call answer. Steve. Call me Could Steven. not answer. No, you Steven, can't answer the question not, as to you why. Let the, me finish. You're right, because he let talked about the Electoral College. Steven, let me finish. Thank you, Kate. There is a flaw in your logical reasoning. Oh, you that's you told me the, the first thing you said is the president dislikes Jews. The second thing you said when I asked, no, does he Kaylee. dislike his daughter? You, you know said, what, I don't Kaylee, have to answer Kaylee, that question. That's very nice. There's a flaw that's very in your nice reasoning. for Breitbart News, but not using, for CNN. You, you are, are using, using fake news arguments. Shame on you. You are using fake Because you just didn't watch what was on there. He responded you, about the electoral isn't it college. True, though? These clips are aging like potato salad in the sun at a picnic. Okay? It is so disgusting to watch people who hate Donald Trump try to deny that he supports Israel. First of all, has a Jewish daughter and Jewish grandchildren. Second of all, Abraham Accords, peace in the Middle East, let's face it. Uh, also, move the embassy, Jerusalem. Promises made, promises kept. And now we have a president who is pretending like he really cares about Israel, but we cannot forget. He closed our Keystone Pipeline. Now we need to buy oil from overseas, and so do a lot of other people. We were exporting oil, Okay. Iran, sanctions reduced because we need to buy oil from them. They're getting rich. Brokered a prisoner exchange, emboldened them. Releasing of funds to them, whether they're there or they're not, and they went to a humanitarian aid, I don't know how we can track that, emboldened them. And I, as a, as a Jew, blame the liberal Jews for hating Donald Trump more than they love their faith in their country. Because they don't tie what's happening in Israel to Joe Biden. And let me tell you, he is tied. He is complicit. He's calling white supremacists the biggest threat to our democracy instead of anti-Semitism. Let's face it. The squad, they're members of his party and they have never been condemned. Never been condemned by him. Not once. He goes over there to Israel and says there was an alleged hospital attack. They were blaming Israel. We know now Hamas. He doesn't blame Iran. He doesn't blame Hamas. He said, oh, it's the other team's fault. This isn't a sporting event. This isn't the Super Bowl. This isn't the World Series. This isn't a game. Blame the terrorists. Think critically. Everyone needs to understand what is happening here. If Israel fails to exist, we have no democracy in the Middle East. And if you don't realize that's important, there's nothing we can do to help you. But it's time to start waking up to how you're voting. Because look at where we are under Joe Biden.